there's lack of visibility of Indigenous coaches at, at the top end, so you know, you can't be what you can't see. I've been in rugby league my whole life. I've got six brothers, so having six brothers, that, that's what took priority on most weekends. I've become involved in the game, particularly in coaching, a little bit later on in life. So I come from a community that has a lot of social issues, so drug and alcohol, um, domestic violence, and there was sort of a, a peak of that sort of behaviour during the football season. And so I thought, well, one way that we can sort of combat that is getting women involved in the game. So I put my hand up and said, I'll do it. So I love that the game allows me to do that in my community. I probably come from a different lens than someone who's played the game, but for me, I use the game as a driver for change. Yeah, so Indigenous coaches have been involved in rugby league for a really long time. The Murray Carnivals, the Knockout Carnivals that have been going um, for so many years, and there are a lot of Indigenous coaches and, and staff getting around. It's just whether they've made it to the elite level. And I didn't know that this was an option for me to be an NRLW coach or in the NRLW space. I think it's, a, it's this common quote you know, you can't be what you can't see. So that definitely could be a reason. The fact that there's no visibility of Indigenous coaches at the top end, but definitely we have the pool of people to, to do it because we offer a, a large skill set to the game that um, can enrich it. The football field is an equal um, platform for everybody. It doesn't matter your race, your gender, your ability, the fact that you're on the paddock, you get to play the game and um, and everyone's equal. Sacrifices in the game, the thousands of kilometres that you do, especially rural remote New South Wales, because there's not a lot of opportunities or quality coaches that get to go out there. I'm a single mother. I lost my partner in 2017, so being a single mother, I've had to uh, spend a lot of time on the road away from my kids and I think they're the people who sacrifice the most, our families. I hope I hope that I can inspire the next generation of female players and coaches coming through. If it is just that visibility in the spaces that I am privileged to be in, um, then, then that's great. Seeing the crowds when we're on the big stage, particularly at McDonald Jones Stadium, um, you see the, the young girls sitting there with their bandanas, with the face painted, with the jersey on. You just, you look at that moment and you think, wow, what we're doing is so much bigger than rugby league. 